OK, for question six, we are told that n is going to be a negative integer. Write down all the values of n which satisfy this inequality. So first of all, let's solve the inequality. So we would subtract 9 from both sides, giving. We would then divide both sides by 2, giving. Now, this says then that n is greater than negative 4. Could n be negative 4? No, it couldn't because n can't be equal to negative 4. But n could be negative 3. It could be negative 2. It could be negative 1. Could n be 0? No, because 0 is not negative. And so this here is our final solutions.